Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome once again. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Daniel and here I am with another video. I hope you guys have seen my previous video. Let me let me just uh, do a little bit of refresh on the last video. Uh, the previous um, video was about page views and I did also talk about a little bit about these tools. Um, I don't want to spend um, time on this because if you want to uh, to learn about this tool you can take a look at the previous video. We also talk a little bit about uh, how um, the interaction between Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics works. This is a graphical representation. It's, it's quite simple. In this video, we are going to focus on tracking downloads. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that you guys um, have put on your website some files available for download. In this example, I just mentioned two of them, PDF files and also zip files. But the method that we are going to learn today is useful for every type of file you put on your site for download. Let me show you here in my web browser because I have already opened my website. It's exactly the same page we used in the previous video. As you can see here, I put one zip file available for download through this link, through this URL. You can check um, here below the exact path inside my website where the file is located. Same thing for this um, txt file. You can see here also the, um, the URL, the path to the files. Okay, so I also have already opened Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. Let me work first in Google Tag Manager uh, because we have to enable uh, some built-in variables. I'm just reading here, built-in variables. As you can see, by default, out of the box, uh, Google Tag Manager already include a few uh, built-in variables, but we have to add a few more. So in order to add built-in variable, variables, you have to, to click here, configure. Let me show you real quick. It's not complicated. And you can see here um, the list. In our case, we are interested in particular in this one. Click url as you can see as soon as i put the checkbox here the um, built-in variable has been added to the list here in my left side but let's just include all the click related built-in variables as you can see on the left side the list is uh, has been increased let me close this now you can see all these new variables here. All of them are related to click. In particular, as I told you, we are going to use click URL because that's the, um, the action performed by the visitors of our website. They just click here. This is uh, a URL, as you can see below. Um, so that's why we are going to use this um, variable in particular. Okay, so also here, as you can see at the bottom of the page, we have our user defined variable. This variable was created in the previous in the previous video. So if you want to learn how to create a user defined variable, you can take a look at the previous video. In this example, as I told you, we are going to focus on tracking downloads. 
in this case we are going to use the filter that I mentioned in the previous video this part the filter because we really need to filter PDF files and the zip file and for that we are going to use regular expression so this tag is gonna be uh, a little bit more complicated than the previous one but it's, uh, it's really funny, it's really, <laughs> it's not complicated how to create it. Maybe it's a little bit complicated um, there, understand the regular expression, but I'm gonna try to explain, um, I'm going to do my best to explain uh, how the regular expression work. All right, so let me show you because I have here my TXT file. As you remember in the previous video, we use this, um, these two uh, names and for this video, I also have names for my tag, for the trigger, and also this configuration for the event. And here, as you can see, is a regular expression. This word is a little bit weird, but means regular, and the EX uh, represents expression. And this is the regular expression, as you can see here. So let me explain you a little bit about this regular expression. The point uh, is a um, special character, so needs to be escaped. That's the term they use. So this uh, backward slash is used just to escape um, this dot, this point. And the point is associated with the extension. So that zip and that PDF. That's um, our filter. And the dollar sign is is there just to to to, to sign out um, that is the end of the file. So if we have let me show you here in my website. Uh, yeah the name of the file as you can see finish with uh, zip and finish with txt oh i have something different here i have to take to change this pdf for txt it's exactly the same save let me say my file um let's go um let's start creating our tag so let me go to tag create new tag let me copy the name Mm -hmm. copy name paste and let me start with the tag configuration choose a tag type the first one same as the previous google analytics universal analytics in this case we are not going to track page views we are going to track events let me see here event the second option and here we have to put category action and label the three of them i have here uh, for event category i have this name as you can see it's really descriptive of what it is so event category lamp down zip let me go back to my txt file to copy the event action name copy and paste as i told you it's it's really descriptive as you can see is we are talking about an an event so event action event action lamb is the name of my website click is the action the the visitor is gonna click a url so click to download zip file and the last one label event event I don't know where to put the accent event or event uh, event label event label lamp C okay let's continue this one value can can stay empty we don't need that we we do need to set our variable this variable as I told you before was created in the previous video and that's it for uh, tag configuration let's move now to the trigger configuration and this is the the funny the important part 
where we are going to use our regular expression. So new trigger, you, you can go here in the up right corner, you see this plus sign, just click there. We need the name of the trigger, let me see here, uh, this is the name of my trigger. As you can see, it's, it's really, really descriptive of uh, what it's going to do. As, as you can see, lamp trigger is going to listen to clicks. What kind of clicks? Clicks over links or URL. These URLs has have to match a regular expression. So the name is, is telling you everything. Um, I think you get the point with choosing that particular name. So let me go now to configure this trigger. We are going to select here trigger type, just links. Okay. And here some link clicks. Perfect. Now let's move to the next part. Here we have to choose click um, URL as I told you before. Uh, this, U, this URL has to match regular expression. And here we have to paste this regular expression expression I we were talking about before. So copy and paste. And that's it. My friends, we have to save here and also save here. And the new tag is now here on the list. It's the second one in the list. As you can see, the description tells you everything that is going to happen. So the tag is going to fire event. I put just zip, but it's zip and also txt as, as you as you can tell by the regular expression, zip and txt. Okay, so what else? Let me just take a look here at trigger because now we have our first trigger that was created. This is the name, really, really descriptive. Uh, and the filter, the filter is something important because as we talked uh, in the previous video, Google Tag Manager Tag Manager is going to listen for, for actions and um, between these actions we have to filter the ones that are more important for us. So the filter that I mentioned in the previous video you can see here applied. What kind of filter we are going to use? One filter that only uh, matches regular expressions of this, uh, this type. Okay, so let's go to test our tag now. You already know that in order to test the tag, first you have to submit the changes. Never forget to do that because if not, if you forget, nothing is going to work. So let me put a descriptive name here. Let me say new tag to track, to track downloads downloads perfect copy and paste and publish okay that's it now we can enable the preview mode that's something that we also covered in the previous video so let me just go straight to preview mode click here and uh, mm -hmm, preview mode is activated. Now we can move to our website and refresh the page. All these steps were covered in the previous video. So here at the bottom of the page, you can see tag manager. And as you can see, um, the tag that was created in the previous video was already fired fire one time. Okay, that's perfect. Every time we refresh the page, that tag has to be fired and it's working fine. Now, an additional tag, as you can see here, tags not fire this one, the one that we created today. The, the reason why this 
uh, tag was not fired is because we haven't uh, downloaded any zip file or any txt file let me do that right now so if i click here two things are gonna happen of course the first thing is i'm gonna get the zip file but the second uh, thing is that our tag should be fired let me see let me click here and boom chakaboom i i already have here the zip file that was downloaded and also here design now here we can see that our new tag was fired too why because we downloaded zip file the same thing should happen if we download download our txt file let me click here txt okay this is the txt file for a moment i was a little bit surprised but okay what sh what can i do here in order to uh, let me let me click here uh using the scroll of my mouse just to open a different okay perfect now the txt file is here and here i we can see that the tag was fired once again so it's working perfectly well the last thing that we can check is here in google analytics as i told you before we have to go to real time because the tag has been uh, recently created we don't have uh, historical data so real time overview in this case we have to go to events let me see uh, if we can check the events perfect so the the event has been triggered uh passed from google tag manager to google analytics so event category this is the category do you remember i put this category here when i selected this name so event category is here event action is here and if i click here I will be able to see also the event label. So um, now um, Google Analytics is tracking each and every download that is being produced in my um, website. Okay, so I don't want this video to be longer than, let's say, 30 minutes. So I think that's all that I wanted to cover today so let me just refresh you how everything works we are in google tag manager we are going to listen for actions performed by the visitors these actions can be filtered because as as you saw we decided to filter zip and txt if somebody download let's say an excel file another kind of file the trigger is not gonna it's not going to send any event to Google Analytics. So that, that's it, guys, for this video. I hope you learned something new. Uh, this graphic, I think, is, is really important. Keep this graphic uh, close to you because you have to create things. And if you follow the guide of this graphic, everything is going to be easy. So that's it, guy. I hope um, you learned something. I already told you, but let me repeat. Uh, if you like this video, this kind of information, just uh, give me some likes. If you want to subscribe, you can, of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thanks for, for joining me today. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.